So don't you forget the night that you're This week on This Big Life. Happy birthday to me. For my birthday, I decided to climb the island of Capri. We're hiking all the way through the Villa Rose to the other side and back down below to the water to see underneath it. And we plan a date with a new Italian boy and I don't know how I feel about it. Brain, what are you doing? What are you doing right now with this guy? It's not TV, it's self-discovery. All this on This Big Life. Good morning, fam. We are off to our Capri adventure. Today we're gonna get to see the island of Capri, definitely the green grotto, and hopefully the blue grotto, okay? Like I have saw pictures of the blue grotto, and those pictures were what originally made me want to come to Sorrento. I reached out to my old mentor, Marie, who in college, like 12 years ago, was the woman who originally birthed this whole idea around self-actualization and really seeing in your life what you want to see for you, what your deep, deep alignment is. necessary. Uh, I'm meeting the driver for this excursion by the church, by the piazza. Just a friendly reminder on my coffee cup. Make the world different. I was gonna be late, but they're late. <laughs> Where are you guys from? New Jersey. Oh, beautiful. This is the Porta of Piano di Sorrento. Thank you. I'm gonna, I am, I, yep, this is it. This is it, boys and girls. This is where I am doing this. Happy birthday to me. Today I'm not worrying about anything but having a good time. I'm shifting away from totally being absorbed with other people and what they need from me. And I'm gonna give back to myself in a big way. This is my birthday. It's now or never when it comes to changing everything for good. The ride to Capri was 40 minutes, but I decided today was gonna be a big date and I was gonna take some huge risks. For 140 euros, this once in a lifetime adventure was it. closed right now but we're gonna go to the green grotto, green grotto and white grotto. we're gonna go to the green grotto and white grotto though so normally your little boat would have to be able to pass under that open hole like the entire boat but the water's too crazy right now. Get lost. Don't turn back. It's gonna keep on burning until it's black. We've all been hurt. We've all been scarred. In a way, it makes us who we
gonna walk the 40 minutes to the natural arc from the pier. It's just like really beautiful, right on the cliff, right on the water, natural arc that happens in the cliff range, in the mountain range. 40 minute walk. Let's walk Capri. This is definitely a Stairmaster exercise. I'm realizing this hike, when you come in from the marina, is just like a straight shot up through the cliff. So it's just like stairs all the way up. I have a feeling you get to the top and then the natural arc is like just hanging over on the other side. I may take things at my own pace, but people really do underestimate me. This other girl was like, no, don't walk to the natural arc. And I'm like, yeah, I am going to, I'm gonna walk. If you're determined and you feel it in you, don't let anyone dissuade you. We walked all this way. started pointing it at my face. He was like, here, here you go. He was like, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so I feel like we just got through the commercial area of Capri, which I had no idea was gonna happen. Um, we're 15 minutes away from the natural arc. We're hiking up, like we went up all those stairs, up the cliffs, through the town. Now we're going up a hill. We're passing all these amazing villas. We're still on cliffside. 15 minutes left. We have an hour and a half left on the clock for when we have to get back on the boat. So we'll spend a little bit of time at the Ark and then we'll head back down. Are these crickets? I feel like these crickets are pushing me. They're like, go, 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 go. here and you're ever wondering it's totally worth it and the photos do not do it justice that is just the craziest mermaid destination I think I have ever seen in my entire life that was the place with the grandma and the orange juice well we climbed the island of Capri now we have to fly back down it to get to our boat on time all right andiamo I mean this is it this is what we're talking about right self-actualize, take no prisoners, do things that are terrifying. I mean, terrifying. Certainly get to drain my lymphs today. <laughs> and terrifying in a way where previously I just simply wouldn't have given myself permission to do it. Now I'm getting to feel what it feels like to do what I was scared to do. To say yes to things that I never would have thought I could before. I climbed the island of Capri. We climbed 
the island of Capri, guys. Happy birthday to me. I mean, I'm not even pretending. Like, this is rain 180 degrees different. And in the last three months, I don't even recognize myself anymore. This is what it was all about. I wanted to do this. I wanted to make these changes in my character because I wanted to be everything that I knew I could be. And I shared it with you along the way to hold myself accountable. And now, we got to do this. We're getting to see things and experience things that I never would have done before, and we're doing it together. I'm just waiting now for the bus to take me back home. Always a cappuccino when you're waiting. That was the best. The best. The best possible birthday experience I could have had. I loved hiking, and then I loved being on the ocean all day. That was... That was like, that was a total rain day. That was a rain day. Okay, heading to dinner. Heading on that date with Marco. I don't know. He had this whole thing planned. Everything's totally a surprise. It's like taking me out to some restaurant and drinks but he's not telling me where because it's my birthday and he wants to surprise me so I don't know surprises on tinder I definitely told all my friends about it so let's uh let's do this thing <laughs> Eva, you will be shocked. Is it I will even let you crazier? See. Yes. Really? I'll let you. I'll let you see. Next week on This Big Life, we head to the lagoon where the queen bathed and have a great second date with Marco. We're gonna get to see the towns of Positano and Amalfi and get to visit this amazing Limoncello factory. Soon it'll be time to say goodbye to these shores and head back to Napoli. It's not TV, it's self-discovery. All this on This Big Life.